Okay, in this video, I'm being joined yet again by Nono, who's going to help me do a 14-month-old wine tasting, strawberry. Uh, would have been a 12-month wine tasting, but it just got lost in the mix. <laughs> it happens. Hi, I'm Charles, and welcome to DIY Fermentation, your site for doing fermentation on a shoestring budget. Okay, there are no new members to report at this time. However, uh, since Nono is joining us uh, for this uh, this uh, wine tasting, uh, this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a wine tasting with a pairing. Right now, we have a a honey wheat loaf uh, that Nono has baked uh, about two hours before this, the uh, filming of this video, and we've got some Stilton cheese uh, that she also brought along. Uh, I mean, I've got some cheddar cheese in the refrigerator, and we could have <laughs> broke that out, but. Uh, just because we're on a shoestring budget <laughs> does not mean that we can't have a little culture. And I don't mean 12-month aged cheddar cheese. I mean, your local <laughs> stuff we find over at the, you know, the grocery store. However, that having been said, uh, No Noise is, is in the process of starting her own artisanal bakery business. Uh, still pretty much in the planning stages, but nonetheless, we'll probably have her explain a bit more in terms of what it is she's trying to do. Uh, throughout uh, subsequent videos. Uh, unless there's something you'd like to add now? Well, I will be starting a, a small bakery, artisanal bread. Okay, we'll have more on that uh, as time goes on. However, let's get to why you really, well, let's get to why you really came <laughs> to this video. And that's to see how- To see me. <laughs> to see how this bottle of wine came along after 14 months. Uh, no, no. Would you uh, like to try your hand at uh, this uh, implement of torture for opening up wine? One day you'll get a real, <laughs> a real bottle opener. Of course. I'm getting better at this. Look at this. You might want to let go of the sides. Okay. <laughs> I think I got it. Ah, <gasps> uh, <laughs> success! <laughs> All right. Um, with that having been done, a couple of notes about the uh, about the bottle. I mean, uh. There is just a, a slight haze layer down at the bottom. It's a very slight lay, uh, layer of haze or haze uh, throughout the entire bottle. It's strawberry. I mean, that pecking haze is just almost impossible to get rid of. Uh, other things of note, uh, let's see. This was uh, came in with an alcohol volume of 12.6%. It was back sweetened months ago. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, with that having been said, let's find out what this actually tastes like. When? When? All right. Say when. When for now. <laughs> when later on tonight, okay? All right. Uh, you've seen my, most of you have seen my uh, wine tasting videos before. You know, there's, well, beyond the first two scenes, everything kind of like is ad lib from there. Um, all I can say from the onset is that, yeah, I mean, it's not perfectly clear, but that's the way of life. There's a aroma. Hmm. I like that strawberry. Yep, very strong strawberry. Virtually no alcohol at all. But then again, it was only 12.6%. Now, don't know who has taken the first sip. I generally like to do a little swirl test. <laughs> Let, uh, inhale the bouquet a little bit more just to find out what we've got. See if it's got legs. Uh, if not, 
Uh, that having been said, since uh, the wine has already been tasted, first impressions. Um, I like it a little sweeter. As with most of the earlier wines, yeah, it was sweetened to my taste. I did not know that my wines were going to be shared, so I made them the way I like them. But uh, I've learned my lesson since then. But I do get the taste of strawberry, which is very nice. Um, it is not harsh. It's not harsh at all, actually. Um, I like it. I like it. Just a little sweeter, though. A lot sweeter. Uh, now I know, now I remember the bottles that I gave to No No several months ago. Yeah, those I actually went back and, and, and re sweetened uh, for their taste. Uh, this was sweetened, my initial sweetening for my taste at that point in time because I was still a little unsure about how much sugar or how much sweetener to add to it uh, and what effect that's going to have over, over the uh, course of time. Uh, this wine, it's a bit on the dry side. I mean, it's not like bone dry, <laughs> but definitely, uh, yeah, definitely before, uh, before I pour another glass of this, uh, there will be a little bit of additional back sweetening, <laughs> uh, uh, happening in the kitchen. However, it's fine. Um, uh, uh I like the fact that that uh, harshness is now pretty yes. much gone that you would normally have in a wine that's say six months old, which is great. Um, the fact that it's clear enough is also good. It seems to be lacking just a little bit of body. And I think that would come about by the addition of some additional sugar. And that would pretty much, uh, uh, thicken it up a little bit more. So yeah, this wine definitely needs to be uh, back sweetened just a bit more. Uh, the flavors are there. Yes. The harshness is gone. It's the last bottle, so it's not like I can, you know, <laughs> give it out as a gift. <laughs> That's one of the hazards of doing a, a one-gallon batch is you get five bottles. Uh, and uh, you've seen me do it before. Uh, one, one, one is uh, saved for the six-month tastings, or what used to be the six-month tastings, one is being saved for the 14 month tastings. Uh, one is usually given away as a gift to some, un some poor unsuspecting soul, uh, just so you can find out from their reactions early on what they think about it. And the other two pretty much get drunk uh, kind of like along the way. <laughs> what, what, you need a bottle of a wine and basically you grab what, uh, what's available. So yeah, this being the last of it, uh, there is currently a strawberry mead that's in the works. Uh, there is a uh, banana strawberry wine that I've got going back there. I've got a uh, uh, that papaya strawberry yes. wine that's uh, also in the works. And I think that might be it. So I've got those three that are, that are back there uh, during bulk aging. Uh, that. Uh, strawberry wine is actually quite, uh, strawberry mead rather, is actually quite clear. I'm seriously thinking about back sweetening that and bottling that one uh, within the next few weeks or so. But this was a wine pairing. Let's find out how uh, Nono's bread turned out. I'm a little curious about that myself. <laughs> it's had time to cool down. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm, okay. Right. Now this is a honey wheat loaf. Oh, it's still slightly warm inside. Oh. 
I haven't tried this before. So when you say it's slightly warm, are we talking about like like a, like a freshly baked donut, slightly warm <laughs> kind of sensation, or or is it or is yes. it warm enough where I should be reaching for the butter instead of the cheese? No, it it's it's still it's it's um it's cool enough to eat, but it's still just a little there's there's just a little residual heat there. Oh, okay. Tiny bit. Now, I was there when the uh, proverbial toothpick taste, uh, test was done. Actually, it was kind of like a, a, a meat thermometer that went in. It didn't quite come out cleanly. Uh, yeah, the hole was right there. Uh, so it was baked some additional time so that uh, the, the bread is, is done. I mean, I mean, it's not a sweet bread. I should say I would. I'm enjoying this a bit more than I would a, a regular slice of bread from the grocery store. And we're not talking about the um, the the whole wheat bread. Well, when it. With the, that, that you've got the grains of wheat, you know, still in, in embedded in the bread. That let's just be honest, uh, you know, it makes it a little crunchy. But it's not like that at all. Uh, it's got good flavor. I mean, there is a tad bit of sweetness, I think, which is what I'm really finding I'm enjoying about this particular bread. Uh, this is not a bread that I would use to make a like, like say, a salami sandwich or anything like that. It's Why a, not? You know, a, a tad bit of sweetness probably would rule that out. Because by the time you, you, you put it in the salami and you probably want to break out the Dijon mustard and uh, you may as well throw uh, <laughs> we have to cheese. Te we have to <laughs> teach you about balancing flavors. That'll be another video. <laughs> but that having been said, I'm going to try some of this Stilton cheese. I've never had Stilton cheese before. Or rather, I've never been able to afford stone cheese before. So I usually kind of pass it by, you know, on my way to the cheddar cheese rack. But let's see what we got. Well, the cheese itself, I mean, you can't spread it. I mean, it's not really a soft cheese. Now, remember, this is a blue cheese, so it's very... The flavor is very heavy. You you may oh, want. I see. <laughs> yes, you may want to um, try that. Dry a little bit of it before you. Uh, so you're saying basically a little goes a long way. A little goes a long way. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Hmm. You've got the sweetness of the bread and the uh, blue cheese aspect going on at the same time. Yeah, definitely a little does go a long way. Hmm. I like it. We're going to get him a sophisticated palate one day. Your site for doing fermentation on a shoe string <laughs> budget, okay? There are things I need in life, all right? And living the good life right now, it's a goal of mine. I I I, I can see I can see it. You know, it, it's almost within reach, but it's not there yet. So, uh, yeah, this would be uh, still some cheese we put on the back burner. Okay? <laughs> when I can afford to go to the store and buy wine off the shelf as opposed to making my own because I know I got to uh, then we'll see but uh, that being said uh, as far as it going as, as it goes with the uh, with the wine yep definitely needs to be back sweet definitely will be back sweet a little bit more uh, but I'm really liking this the bread is actually quite good It doesn't clash. 
um, the fact that, that the wine is not very sweet, it doesn't clash with the sweetness of the bread. Mm. It's not bad. In other words, the wine is not overwhelming the, the taste of the bread. Mm -hmm. um, um, so it's, it's, they're both kind of equal. Um, if this were a sweeter one, when this becomes a sweeter <laughs> wine, I think it will still be enjoyable with this uh, with this mix of a sweet a sweet herb bread. Can't really call it a sweet bread. Nope, can't call it a sweet bread. Uh, and the cheese. I'm just trying to think. Mm. Yeah, a good extra sharp cheddar would uh, <laughs> would go with this equally well. It may not be spread up over, you know. <laughs> but again, um, one day, someday, <laughs> uh, we're working on it. That being said, uh, at the time of this video, uh, there is the mid month, midweek, midday live stream coming up next week. Uh, additionally, uh, and that will be a solo effort. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we'll be back hopefully uh, for the uh, first of the month, uh, Saturday uh, live stream. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about her uh, business aspirations. Uh, I mean, she could always start a YouTube channel for cooking. <laughs> That'd be the easiest way to do it. <laughs> But uh, there we go. Uh, strawberry wine, 14 month. Uh, definitely would make, will make this again because it is even at six months uh, when it was properly sweetened. Um, uh, it was not just uh, uh, tasty for me, uh, but it's also uh, no, no, pretty much enjoyed it. And oh, yes. the uh, multitude of people that she was giving my out to <laughs> uh, at the six month stage. Uh, they enjoyed it also. So definitely this is a wine that we'll be making again. And with that having been said, uh, we will probably cut this short. Uh, I'll see you during the next video and I'll see you during the next live stream. Again, if you like what you see here, please click on the subscribe button. Memberships are always appreciated and the channel does have its own PayPal accounts for uh, donations where we can uh, purchase some additional equipment. Uh, the last thing that we purchased was this camera. Uh, Purchased? Yeah, it was purchased, but it's not quite paid for. So <laughs> donations to help pay for the camera uh, would also be appreciative. So with that having been said, uh, on behalf of No No and myself, uh, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.